Keepers. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you this device. There. This is actually an overflow. It's a DIY that I made for this small aquarium. That's the front and this the back. There's nothing much to see at the back. But the interesting thing about this device is what it does. Um, please observe. As soon as the overflow sat on its designated spot in the aquarium, water started flowing out. With no other intervention or actions from me, it was automatic. But also, sir, I want you to witness this. There, it's happening now. Gradually, slowly, as soon as the aquarium water level reach the inlet hole here of the overflow, gradually, the outflow of water stops. Finally, it will stop. It's like it's breathing. Wow! <laughs> now, let's say you decide to add more water in this aquarium. And I'm gonna do it here. There. add some more the whole overflow process starts again that my friends is what an overflow does for the information of those who do not know frequent and partial water change is one of the top routines for us fish keepers that's very simple to do but very important in keeping the quality of the fish water in top conditions so that the fish will stay alive, stay healthy, thriving, and also happy. <laughs> and this overflow is basically like a tool for us fish keepers which makes the whole process of water changing uh, much more efficient and less of a hassle because uh, less effort is needed during the, wall, the whole water change process. So again, that's a DIY overflow that I made for this aquarium. It's very cheap to DIY, very affordable, and I'm here to show you how to do it. Yes! Water comes in in this hole. This is the water inlet. Water flow flows the tubing all the way to this side of the pipe, and finally out here on this hole. This is basically just a hole that I made, and then I inserted a tubing so that I will have a way of catching the water. Going back in the water inlet, the height where you decide to drill this hole will also determine the maximum level of the height of the water inside the aquarium. So I suggest you take your time in deciding where you make that hole. And then, the height of this water outlet is always lower than the height of the water inlet. In this particular case, I decided to make it around 2 inches lower than the water inlet. Let's now play a little more on this device. It's on. And off. On. And then off. On. And then off again. Wow! I know a lot of you wants to do a teardown of this water bending device. And I won't disappoint you. So let's go ahead and reverse engineer this water jutsu. By the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. 
Welcome back guys. Right now we're going to do the reverse engineering of this device, the DIY overflow. Um, let's start. We have two end caps below. We have this to make sure that water doesn't flow out of the inlet pipe and the outlet pipe. Okay. Let's remove it. Go ahead. That's one. And then it's the second one. End caps. And now we're going to take out the inlet pipe and the outlet pipe. There. So there. Now yeah. Slowly. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. And we have two elbows. These are elbows. And then this is another one. And I just have a short tube in here, a short PVC. To join them together. This one. Okay. By the way. And this is basically the hose. Where the water flows. Okay. Let's remove it. So you can see it. That's one. There's a hole right there. For the hose to come in. Same on the other side. There. So was that simple enough? <laughs> so those are the stuff you need to make this DIY overflow. So stay tuned guys. So that was the reverse engineering. Next step, we're gonna build one. Finally, we are now going to test if the DIY overflow is working. We're going to prime it first by filling the PVC with water. Keep it submerged. Next is the hose. Fill it with water too. While both are submerged, fully insert the hose into the PVC hose. Now, we're ready to do the test. Oh, please make sure that the water inlet is on the water side. This assembly looks really nice. <laughs> it's like a brand new gadget. Wow! Here we go, guys. And there! Water style jutsu is a success. <laughs> water outflow is strong on this one, too. That's the water inlet. Let's try to stop the flow for a while. long enough. Now let's activate it back. And yep. Yes! There you have it folks. Your DIY overflow. A while back was for the mini aquarium. And now with this we went from Ubuntu size in this pond version. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.